Hi, my name is Janet. Today I'm going to show you a very, very simple technique that I normally use just before I go and do a massage. You know, you have to softly keep head and be relaxed. And uh, so when you do your massage, you know, you are relaxed yourself. But this technique is not just good for doing a massage. It's also good for your everyday life because um, for me personally, the reason why I came to this level, I fell ill in my life and, um, and what happened, I was told, I wasn't breathing properly. So I'm going to go to a very short video and show you what the technique I use mostly every day in the first thing in the morning. And um, well, let's go ahead and do it then. Okay, what I tend to do is pump on the head very gently. Because what happens, you move all the energy from the head down to the bottom of your body and the neck. And you can have a lot of tension in there. So this is, you can do it yourself. You don't, anybody doesn't have to help you to do that. You just do it yourself on your arms. You know, all that is very, very good. And also it helps you to lose weight if that's what you want. And it keeps, keeps you very, you know, physical. And... Um, you can rest the rest of your day without feeling tired. So if you're a massage therapist, you know, you need to be on par. You need to actually, you know, keep your energy going while you're doing the massage. So this is very important that you are fit and healthy while you're doing that. So you go right to the bottom. So the reason we start from the top to the bottom is because the energy has come to the top of the head. You go right to the bottom to the feet and get you grounded. So this is what I'll be start with first thing in in the morning or before I go and do a massage or it could be any day um, that you want to you know keep yourself fit so I normally come in here and sit down now this is a very very short technique what I'm doing and I go with my breathing you know breathing really is the key to life really if you don't breathe properly you know well that's it again this is how I fell ill again I wasn't breathing properly so Sit down in a position. You don't have to be in this position if you if you can't sit with your legs like that. You can stretch your leg forward. You know, depends how comfortable you are. But I like doing this because I tend to do a bit of yoga as well. So I'll sit straight with my spine straight, and you don't have to shut your eyes, but you can if you want. And just rest for a few minutes, and put your hands to the heart chakra. Because the heart chakra helps you to balance, it balances the heaven and earth. It balances, balances all the energy within the body. So I put my hands there and I just listen to my heart for a few minutes. Before I go into the breathing, I'm listening. Now I'm going to take a nice deep breath. Breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the nose. Breathe in through the nose. And breathe out through the nose. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. So you notice what I've done. When you breathe in, your stomach expands. I'm going to show you the technique. So when you breathe in, I'm just going to take my hands off here. So you breathe in, and the chest cavity opens up. So you breathe in. The stomach expands, and the chest expands. And when you breathe out, yeah, so everything the stomach goes in and you actually everything goes in so you breathe in and breathe out one more time breathe in and breathe out so when you breathe in you're breathing love and when you breathe out you breathe out peace uh, actually there are advanced techniques to that but this is simple technique that I think everybody should do you know every day especially with the breathing put your hand on your heart chakra three breaths and then and three breaths after you finish your exercise so I've done my breathing so what I tend to do I just shake my leg if I'm soft like you know heart chakra my leg fold up together and that's it really you know that's the the little exercise you can do for yourself or a technique to just to get prepared before you do a massage 
next session. Okay, thank you very much. Until next time. By the way, if I didn't say my name, my name was Janet. See you next time. Bye-bye now.